Hello. In this video we are going to talk about three reasons why more people are getting diabetes. The World Health Organization released statistics showing that the number of diabetes sufferers rose from 108 million in 1980 to 422 million in 2014. That's a rise from 4.7% in 1980 to 8.5% in 2014. The number is much higher now. Every single year, millions of people around the world get diagnosed with diabetes. Most of these patients have type 2 diabetes. There are three reasons why the diabetes statistics are soaring each year. Let's look at them now. Poor food choices. This is the biggest culprit that raises your risk of getting diabetes. Our diets contain too much processed foods and refined carbohydrates. The high fructose corn syrup HFCS, that creeps into most processed foods is a form of sugar that leads to insulin insensitivity and has made obesity an epidemic. It's common to see kids guzzling sodas that are chock full of sugar. Donuts, ice cream, white bread, white rice, etc. are all foods that spike our blood sugar levels. When your body constantly experiences blood sugar spikes, it releases more insulin than necessary because it has lost the sensitivity. The excess insulin ends up being stored as fat, which results in diabetes over time. The best way to prevent or reverse diabetes will be to clean up your diet. The first step will be to give up all sweetened beverages and stick to water. It's easy to overconsume calories and the accompanying sugar when you're drinking them. Next, you should stick to complex carbohydrates such as whole grain bread, peas, beans and vegetables. Reduce or give up all processed foods. Like fitness guru, Jack LaLanne once said, if man made it, don't eat it. Sedentary lifestyles. This is another factor to be aware of. We spend most of our lives seated at work or at home. Human beings need to move. Our ancestors spent most of their time hunting, foraging for food or doing other physical activity to provide for their daily need. Nowadays, most things can be accomplished at the touch of a button. Need to go up to your apartment? Take the elevator. Going to the mall? Get in the car. All these conveniences that have risen due to the advent of technology have taken away our need to move more. Take the stairs. Walk more. Run whenever you can lift weights, swim, climb, etc. All these movements and activity is what your body needs. You'll burn more calories, get fitter, have stronger muscles and burn excess fat. This will help to lower your risk of diabetes. Portion sizes. Portion sizes are another silent culprit. Over the years, the portion sizes have only gotten bigger to cater to an increasingly voracious appetite. The fatter people get, the more they want to eat. Restaurants and fast food outlets do not mind giving larger portions if it increases their bottom line, while the people increase their cholesterol levels and get bigger bottoms. One of the best ways to lose weight and reduce your risk of diabetes is to ask for smaller portions or just eat 50% of what's on your plate. If you're eating at home, you can use smaller plates to fool your mind into thinking that you're eating more. It actually works. Ultimately, it all boils down to what you eat, how much you eat and if you're getting enough activity. If you can get these three things right, you'll reduce your risk of diabetes immensely, and if you already have it, this will help to reverse it and bring it under control. Thank you for watching our video. And don't forget to check in the description our simple 60 second habit that reserves diabetes.